Holograms are no longer a thing of science fiction or cinema, and you can make your own for free in Blender in just a few minutes. Stick around and we'll show you how. Hello holographers and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Arturo. I'm a creative technologist and the community manager here at Looking Glass. In this video, I'll walk you through how in a few simple steps, you can make your renders from Blender into holograms with or without a looking glass. You'll find timestamps, a starter file, and resources for everything we'll cover in the description of this video. So you can skip around as needed or follow along. Here's what you'll need. Blender, a free and open source 3D creation suite with tools for modeling, sculpting, texturing, shading, animation, simulation, video editing, and holograms. Blender has it all. The Looking Glass Alice add-on. I'd like to give a massive shout out to Christian Stolzer, the creator of this add-on for all his work in developing and maintaining Alice. The Alice add-on for Blender enables seamless previewing and interaction with your 3D models and scenes on Looking Glass displays. No more guessing how your creations will look. You can literally see them pop out of the screen as you work. And optionally, a Looking Glass portrait. The Looking Glass portrait is a canvas for creation and a window to the holographic world. This compact plug and play display brings your 3D creations to life in a way that flat screens simply can't match. Whether you're a designer, artist, or a tech enthusiast, this holographic display adds an entirely new dimension to your creative workflow. Getting started, installing the Alice add-on. First, download the latest version of Blender from blender.org and the latest version of the Alice add-on from look.glass forward slash blender. I recommend you keep all your add-ons in the same folder like you see here on the screen. This will help keep things organized and easy to find. And make sure you don't unzip the contents of the Alice add-on since we'll need that zip file later. Next, open up Blender and in the edit dropdown on the top left corner, select preferences. In the middle left of the preferences window, you'll find the add-ons menu. Click on the add-ons menu and select install in the top right corner of the window and navigate to the folder where you downloaded the Alice add-on. Select the Alice add-ons zip file and click on install add-on. We're almost there. To confirm you've installed the add-on, search for it in the search bar of the add-ons menu. You should now see the Alice LG comes up as an option. Click on the checkbox to enable the add-on. The last step is to click on the install dependencies button, which will install any necessary Python dependencies. Once this is finished, restart Blender for the changes to take effect and you're set. Once installed, the Alice add-on will appear in the sidebar panel on the right. Alice add-on overview. We've included a starter template blend file in the description of this video that you can use to follow along, but feel free to use an existing Blender project if you prefer. The workflows will be the same. Let's walk through some of the features that the add-on offers. Hologram preview. The first feature we'll go through is one of my favorites, the hologram preview. With this setting enabled, you don't need to have your looking glass plugged in in order to gauge how the hologram of your scene will appear on a looking glass or on Blocks, our hologram sharing platform, which we'll get to later in this video. With the hologram preview, you can simply hover your mouse over the hologram and wiggle it to the left and right to preview the output. Looking glass selection. If you don't have a looking glass connected, you can skip to the workflow section. If you have a looking glass display connected, you'll need looking glass bridge running so your display can automatically be detected by Blender on startup. If your display is not automatically detected, click the refresh button to the right of the looking glass selection and Blender should find your looking glass. The light field window button will cast the current looking glass camera view to your looking glass and enable the light field window settings panel. You can use the light field window settings to adjust the refresh mode. Here, you can choose between automatic refresh, which will update the preview of your looking glass whenever changes are made in your scene, or manual refresh, which will refresh your scene only after clicking on the refresh button. Personally, I like to set my refresh mode to manual and I create a new workspace in Blender by clicking on the plus symbol in workspaces. I then title it Looking Glass so that I don't lose it, and I set the shading mode to Render. 
Then, from the Alice add-on, I select the Looking Glass viewport from the drop-down menu and refresh. This allows me to work within Blender from whatever shading mode I'd like without having that affect my Looking Glass preview on every refresh. You can view any quilt that you've made in Blender or brought into Blender on your Looking Glass by setting the Light Field window to Quilt Viewer Mode. The View Resolution drop-down will allow you to preview your hologram at different quality levels. You can adjust this based on your computer's components to aid performance. Camera Setup Here, you can add new cameras to the scene, adjust the clip start and clip end of the cameras, and set the focal plane of your camera for sharp and accurate holograms. Clip Start The clip start is the minimum distance from the camera at which objects begin to be visible or rendered in the camera view. It effectively clips or hides objects that are too close. The clip end is the maximum distance from the camera at which objects remain visible in the camera's view. The focal plane is the plane at which objects are in perfect focus. Objects in front of or behind this plane will appear progressively more out of focus, depending on the aperture and depth of field settings. Quilt Setup and Rendering The Quilt Setup section of the add-on gives us a few options. Use Device Settings Add Metadata Device, Quilt, and Output. You can read more about the quilt format in our documentation, which is linked in the description of this video, but for the sake of the video, know that a quilt can be a JPEG, PNG, MP4, or other common media format made up of different consecutive views from a scene captured linearly. And you can load these into Looking Glass Studio for displaying and saving to your Looking Glass portraits and to blocks for sharing with the world. Use device settings. The Use Device Settings option will override the device and quilt options to optimize your hologram based on the display that you've connected. The Add Metadata option will automatically add the necessary metadata for Looking Glass Studio and Blocks to recognize your hologram accordingly. I recommend leaving this on at all times. The Device option will allow you to select the Looking Glass device you'd like to render for, while the Quilt settings will determine the output of your quilt. The output option allows you to select whether you like to export only the quilt file for your image or animation hologram, or each individual view and the quilt. The view and quilt files option comes in handy if you want to do some dedicated post-processing to your hologram in tools like Photoshop, but for most use cases, simply exporting the quilt is fine. The rendering section of the add-on gives us two rendering options, render quilt and render quilt animation. And now the workflow. Open a new or existing Blender project, and with the Alice add-on installed, add a looking glass camera to your scene. Set the clip start, clip end, and focal plane in your looking glass camera settings to ensure that the subject of your hologram is in focus. Whether you have a looking glass connected or not, you can use the hologram preview to see what the hologram will look like on a looking glass or on blocks as you're working on it. Once you're happy with how the scene looks, Hit Render and load your hologram into Looking Glass Studio for playback in standalone mode or Looking Glass Blocks, where you can view thousands of holograms made by our community of creators. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by giving it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let us know in the comments what kind of tools you'd like us to bring holograms in from next. We'll be sure to read each one. Thanks for watching.